previous tutorial we have installed CAC PHP by Oven. In this tutorial we will install CAC PHP by Composer. So Composer is a dependency tool that it may be already familiar with Composer. So if you are not familiar with Composer then you can go in this link. And then you can see the home for details about Composer like this. And there is also a documentation. You can go through this documentation. Documentation. So in this tutorial, I'm just going to download Composer. After going here, there is an option called Download and Run Composer EXE Setup EXE. I'm just going to click on it and then save it. After save, uh, I'm just going this link and going to run it. By run as administrator uh, then run anyway click on yes then install for all users then click on next and you can see that choose the common line php you want to use uh, they have uh, uh, the directory is uh, my jam directory php and php exe file uh, if it's not automatically come then you need to browse it like this and go in your php exe file then after click on next it should install automatically i already installed composer so i'm just going to cancel it in here then if you if you install succeed then you can check it in your common prompt just open your common prompt and uh, type composer and hit on enter you should see something like this if you not see this that means your composer hasn't installed you just need to reinstall your composer i'm going to close this uh, common prompt and go in next step so in next step, we should follow CACPHP uh, some requirements they need to install CACPHP version 4. So first is you need minimum PHP version 7.2 or greater than 7.2. So I already uh, uh, told in previous tutorial that uh, I recommend use PHP version at least 7.2.23 that is my recommended you can use it or greater than this. So, if we just uh, see our version, that my version is uh, 7.2.23, that means it's greater than 7.2. Then we need uh, some uh, some extension for CAC PHP, PHP MB string extend, extension, and also need INTL and this four extension. So by default, Jam already uh, enable. Uh, all this expo all uh, this uh, extension without intl so to check your intl extension you should go in your php inf file i'm going to php inf file from jam control panel i'm just going here and click is config and going to php inf file and here i'm um, uh, press control f for find something and here giving the keyword intl and find next after click on it uh, you should uh, go this line call extension equal intl so it may use seeing a semicolon in here you have to remove this semicolon and after save everything i'm not going to save because i already uh, removed the semicolon and then restart your apache and then close your apache then our system now ready for cac php version 4 we just need a simple command uh, in composer for install cac php version 4 i'm just going to copy this line you already see they created php project uh, they already told that using composers and create for the command for composer i'm just co going to copy this line go in my stdocs folder and just open my command prompt or git bash you can open your command prompt same and then pass the line command line then you can change your 
name of application. For example, I am give name my application CAC my app. Then hit on enter. Your installation should start now. So we are just waiting some moment to install CAC PHP. Uh, it will install uh, version 4 with the dependencies. So it just is starting install installation. So let uh, wait some moment. I'm just going to pause this video in here and coming soon. So if everything fine, you should see something like this. You need the folder perm permission. You just need to press Y in here, then hit on enter. So we already installed our CAC PHP now let's see in browser so our app was cac my app already downloaded and we just need to go in browser and just type localhost cac underscore my app then hit on enter you should see something like this welcome to cac pitch 4.0.2 4 strawberry so database is still not connected we will connect our database in next tutorial thank you for watching this tutorial welcome for the next